This is Twit. When we have a large crew, you know, 10 people or, or so up at the space station, it stresses the life support system and atmospheric conditioning and all that. And and I'm going to phrase this carefully because I don't want to jeopardize any current or possible future contracts you might have in mind. But so far, SpaceX has developed a life support system that works for the Dragon capsule, which is three to four people. Um, we ask continually about Starship. And we get a lot of smiles and shrugs and it's like, yeah, we got that covered. Well, you know, for three or four people, albeit in a volume, the size is essentially equivalent to the space station. Maybe they do, but he has talked in the past about maybe having 80 people on that thing for a Mars trip. That's a different project. So, I mean, do you, do you attach a trailer to the side of it that carries this <laughs> massive life support system and huge spare tanks of oxygen or how does that how does that work? I know this is kind of a simplistic question, but it's a real head scratcher for me. You, you know, um, yeah, you can always resupply and, and, you know, send a trail of things behind. Uh, but let me get to the other end of the problem, literally, which is the waste. Um, you uh, know, when uh, when Elon announced uh, Starship back in Guadalajara at IAC and said he was going to send 500 people or whatever in it, I got a call from a famous space reporter, um, just like you, Rod, and, and, <laughs> and he said... Not quite. And he said, uh, he said, Grant, what do you think about this? And I said, ask him where the bathrooms are. Hmm. Um, and, and he goes, well, he kind of laughed and I said, no, that's, that's my world, you know, and right now par humans are batch processors, you know, we eat and then we, you know, poo and peep, if you want to say it, fecate and urinate is the technical term. Um, and that's a batch and you've got to be able to store that and then process it and recycle it or whatever else, but you've got to batch it. And by the way, when everybody wakes up in the morning, if you have a continuous, you know, day night cycle, that means everybody's going to pee at once. That's what your that's what stresses your, your sewer system around your house and in your town. Um, and anyway, so then what a year later, he was down at Adelaide at IAC and said it was going to be a hundred people. And that same reporter called me up and bef <laughs> all he said is his name. And I said, did you ask him where the bathrooms are yet? And he started laughing and, and it's a hundred people. I was at the ISPCS with the International Symposium on Personal Commercial Space Flight. And somebody said, Grant, so how many people can go on a starship to Mars? And I said, you know, I'm, I'm working with zero data here, uh, but I'm opinionated anyway. But, um, <laughs> you know, the the but looking at the, the the size they have now and what I understand it has to do in the in the landing capabilities so the tanks for that and everything else, I think it could hold about seven or eight. Um, and there was a little bit of an audible, you know, gas from the audience on that. Purely a wild, uh, a wild guess. Uh, sorry, um, but uh, but yeah, a lot of people do underestimate uh, what it takes to support a human. Um, you know, they're out of it's out of it's out of mind. You know, the, you, you flush the john and it goes down and it's out of your house and you don't worry about it. There's a whole system that processes that that's downstream from you. And so anyway, it, it's, we don't get the respect. We get we get no respect. I tell you, we get no respect. <laughs> so, so you must one. have been, uh, excuse me, but you must have been an awesome first date because you're going to look here, <laughs> your, your partner in the eyes and say, you're the best looking batch processor I've ever seen. <laughs> I mean, this is true engineering speak, you know? Okay. Sorry, Tarek. Go I, ahead. I was just going to say that the, the bathroom is like just one system. And, and I was there in 2019 when, when Elon and SpaceX unveiled the first starship and it looked a lot smaller than what I thought was going to fit a hundred people on it. And I asked specifically about life support and how they were going to scale it up. And it's like, well, we, we got it down. We got it down for Dragon, so I think it's going to be fine. And I was like, I don't think it's going to be that fine. You know, what year was that? That was 2019. Uh, 2019. Yeah, it was interesting. I don't know if you know, but, but Paragon was there at the beginning of SpaceX because mm -hmm. what mm -hmm. what Elon wanted to do with his PayPal money was to put a greenhouse on Mars. Yeah, right. and we had actually designed one for JPL for the 2001 lander that that lost out oh. or budget wise. And so um, we were designing that. We had actually contract with him, and we were we had a brass board working in our lab. And he went to try to figure out how to launch it, and and then got pissed the launch industry and started SpaceX. Um, so we were on that team from the beginning. We we had continuous contracts with SpaceX in 2013. So the architecture of that life support system on Dragon is ours, as is, by the way, the architecture on the CTS-100. Mm -hmm. um, every single human spaceflight vehicle that's been designed in the United States since 1999, Paragon has been involved with it one nice. way or the other. Nice. Um, so, yeah, I know uh, what his see. system does, and I know what is 
recyclable and what's not. And and that's a little bit of the, I remember we, it was again, the ISPCS and somebody from SpaceX was there and they were doing the cargo vehicle and they said, well, what about when you put people on it? And the person literally said, to noticeable giggles in the audience. Oh, what do you have to do with humans? Just add a little bit of oxygen. And, <laughs> and you could tell of us in the live spirit, it was, I didn't giggle, but a lot of other people did. And, um, yeah, no, it, like I say, we, we don't get respect. The human space flight program is a biology program with a little bit of rocket technology thrown in and that you can mm. maybe go. That's not how the emphasis is when you, when you see the PR. This episode of Tech Break is brought to you by our friends at IT Pro TV, now called ACI Learning. Together, ACI Learning and IT Pro entertain and train your team to keep your business performing at its best. Visit go.acilearning.com slash twit. Twit listeners who complete the form can receive as much as 65% off an IT Pro enterprise solution plan. You'll get the proper quote based on the size of your team. 